again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. That we've only what seen does it once. look like? <laughs> it is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Nah, I'm stealing it, dude. Uh, alright. Find the amulet. It's not down here. No, it's caved in. Alright. All right, let's find this bust. Hmm. Detective Pierce, professional bust searcher. But yeah. Maybe I can ask, uh, nope. Oh. Nah. So it would make sense because, you know, Sarah lived in this house. She might be able to tell me whether. Busk is, but I guess not. I 
Aha. Okay, we need the skull and the thing next to it. This is cool. I like this. I'm pretty sure I saw this. Was it up here? seen this around. It's not up here, was it? Yeah. Oh, we found it. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Sorry, what the fuck just happened there? Alright. Yeah, the person you found to find the fucking amulet. There you go, you piece of shit. I think I found uh, what we're it's looking you for. again. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Ah, uh, it's you again. Hmm. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Top of the morning to you. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. What a fucking asshole. You bet I will. 
Ah, that's cool. I just gave myself up, and I guess I'm going to prison now.